All right, so here's the new 2020 Audi A5, and this is the Sportback, and it's just gone through a mid-cycle refresh. Let's look at some of the differences between this and last year's car. So start with the front, you're gonna see you have the new LED matrix lights. Give it a nice, nice touch there, and a new design on the grill, if you can take a look. So it's more of a honeycomb look, a little more aggressive. Uh, so it's a nice change there in the front. And then the side profile is gonna be the same as before. Uh, there are some different wheel options on offer, so that's a nice touch there. Some nice looking sporty themes. And then some other nice revisions happen in, in the rear here. So now it's got a different design element there for its LED tail lamps. It's very clean. And some subtle changes to the bottom valence there where the exhaust goes. So I'd like to see what you think. Please comment below so far what you think about the new design in the rear and the front. And then another major change that this is where it took place was inside the vehicle. Where now we don't have the rotor response anymore. That's all touchscreen with the new graphics. So if you're familiar with all the newest Audis right now, there's a new de design theme with the touch response. And now instead of having your wheel there, now you have a cubby hold, and then your cup hold is just in front. This is a premium plus, so it's gonna have wireless charging, it's gonna have folding mirrors, adaptive cruise control, you can have LED lights for the lighting system. This also has the Bang Olsen, the Audi beam rings. So it's really, really nicely equipped. Checking out from the driver's side. So many of the design cues that you're familiar with with this current generation, it's gonna carry over, except for the new design there for the screen, which is it's nicely uh, canted towards the driver. You got some updated uh, virtual copy graphics here, so it's really clear, very crisp. And overall, it's a very, very nice, some subtle redos here and there in terms of uh, wood choices, material choices. Still have the Bang Olsen audio system on offer, dual climate control. So I think overall, there's a nice small detailed changes that will definitely carry over for the next year and keep the sales booming for this automobile. Sportback is a pretty sweet automobile. I think it's one of the most versatile options on offer. And then checking out back. This is what really makes this car very appealing, the tail end here with the big, big trunk space. So it does look like a traditional coupe until you open it and then it reveals that it is a hatchback in design. So it's a really, really sweet looking car. Uh, what powers this vehicle is a two liter turbo making about 250 horsepower. It's got 273 foot pounds of torque. It's uh, made it to a dual clutch transmission. Zero to 60 is definitely gonna happen in the lower end of the five second range. And it runs on premium. And it's a fun car to drive. Very spirited suspension, very, very good grip with all wheel quattro. So I think it's an overall sweet vehicle, and uh, we'll see how sales go. Hopefully things clear up pretty soon with what's taking place. But once again, just wanted to show you the new Sportback, and uh, we'll have more content to come soon. So please share, subscribe, and like. Really appreciate all my viewers and all my subs, and uh, we'll have more videos to come. Have a great day.